Welcome back to Ozarks Tonight. I'm Heather Lewis. Of course, the big news this week is the spread of coronavirus. A lot of people having concerns about it as we have two confirmed cases, presumptively concern, uh, confirmed cases in the state of Missouri. Now, we've heard from Springfield Green County and their health department. Of course, there are several counties in our viewing area. So today we want to bring in Taney County's health director to talk about the uh, different situations that are going on in Taney County and answer any questions that um, some people might be concerned about as well. So this is Lisa Marshall, the director. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. So first of all, coronavirus is a concern mm -hmm. right now. Are there any confirmed cases or be people being tested in Taney County right now? So there are no confirmed cases of coronavirus in Taney County um, and it's something that we certainly are staying on top of and monitoring on a daily if not hourly situation and of course with it being cold and flu season I think that makes it also a little bit confusing because we're also concerned about just the spread of viruses in general. Exactly. Are there any people being tested right now in, in the county? At this point in time we don't have anybody testing to my knowledge. Okay mm -hmm. very good um, and as far as taking precautions what are mm -hmm. some of the preventative measures that Taney County is taking right now. I know some other counties have been doing or uh, recommending online churches mm -hmm. and you know businesses, group, large group gatherings to dwindle down or just postpone. Mm -hmm. Are you taking any of those measures? Sure. Just yet? So at this point in time, our big focus is on prevention and the spread of illnesses in general. So right now we're really telling the community a lot of information about um, staying home if you're sick, um, good hand hy hygiene, making sure that you're washing your hands for 20 seconds. Most of us do not wash our hands long enough, um, increasing the frequency at which you're doing that as well. And then things like coughing into your sleeve or your elbow, um, obviously using tissues, wa washing your hands after blowing the nose, and then not touching your face. Because what we find um, a lot of times is that we actually introduce germs into our body by touching our own faces. So your mouth, nose, eyes, those are all great ways that you get germs into your body. So avoiding those. Um, and then again, our big message is if you're sick, please stay home. Um, and of course, 80% of individuals that do get coronavirus um, have pretty mild symptoms, very cold-like, flu-like, and they are treated at home um, with things like rest and fluids, ibuprofen, and then they resume normal life. Now, there's this flu season mm -hmm. as well. We're kind of getting to the tail end of it, but at the same time, I know a lot of people who are showing symptoms might be concerned. Um, mm -hmm. What's the policy on getting tested for flu versus coronavirus for you all? Sure. So at this point in time, um, we do have the state health department test kits in Taney County. Um, we have not used any of those. And so what you would do is work with your local health care provider um, to determine if you would need to use one of those. And of course, I know we hear stories um, that we are going to have commercial testing available very soon. And we've seen a lot of that. Um, um, planning and preparation happening. Um, and so what we're really worried about this moment is those 20% of folks that do have more severe symptoms. Um, and so those are certainly the people that we're trying to target with information and um, get them the right information that they need to be healthy. Now, Branson is just right up the road mm -hmm. from you guys. Um, I'm sure a lot of your residents vacation there mm -hmm. as well. And spring break is coming up for next week. What is your recommendation on travel? Sure. So part of what we've been doing is working with um, internally. We have a team that's been meeting um, since mid-January to make sure that we as a health department are planned and prepared for a worst case scenario. Um, we want to be over prepared and then hope that we're pleasantly surprised in that in those measures. And so um, we've also been meeting with external task force. So our community partners that are involved in keeping our community healthy and safe. Um, so there's been a lot of preparation and planning that's happening there. Um, and we've got a, a slew of uh, partners involved in that. And so everybody is staying up to date on everything that's happening um, and just making sure that we are really prepared for whatever comes our way. And then, of course, another thing that we're really focusing on is outreach in the community. So again, those groups that are at a higher risk, we want to be sure we've reached out, provided them with any information that they might need or answer any questions they might need to keep themselves or their family members safe. Um, and so part of that has been working with our businesses. So we do realize that we've got a lot of people that come in. Um, and of course, we're still open for business. Um, and we've been very pleasantly surprised to see that our businesses are taking this very seriously. And they are uh, actually implementing a lot of practices and policies in their place of employment that um, are going to help keep our visitors and our residents safe. And you mentioned focusing on that high risk population. Mm -hmm. Who is at risk for sure. receiving coronavirus or even more susceptible to getting the flu? Absolutely. So those higher risk individuals are those that are 60 years and up.
um, and then also that have uh, underlying chronic conditions, so heart disease, diabetes, especially respiratory issues. So um, this uh, illness is respiratory in nature, and so that uh, definitely puts that group at a little bit higher of a risk. And so for those folks, we certainly encourage them to take a few additional measures. So that's where maybe that, if you're sick, stay home. Um, if you are going to come in contact with folks that are sick, we encourage you to also stay home or avoid those individuals. Um, and again, being prepared that in case you do need to be at home for an extended period of time, that you got things that you need, such as you know your medications, uh, pet food, pet medications. I mean, just kind of those necessities that you would need to be able to kind of be at home for a little while if you needed to. Um, now, I know a lot of people who are concerned about this, and um, they might just want to pick up the phone mm -hmm. and call you guys. Is that the best way to do uh, to get some answers? You know, to get some questions answered, I should say, or are there online resources? Mm -hmm. What do you recommend? Sure. So there are a handful of resources that are all excellent. So of course, um, we do have our phone number. They can always give us a call if they have some more local questions. We've got nurses on staff um, and just other knowledgeable staff that are helping field those questions. Um, you can also call our state health department. They do have a 1-800-24-hour um, call line that's staffed with medical professionals, so they can get those answers for you. And then, of course, we also have several online online platforms that we're kind of encouraging people to take a look at because ultimately we're all sharing similar messages about prevention, um, you know, being sure to stay home if you're sick, uh, just disinfection practices, those sorts of things. So the CDC and the World Health Organization along with the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services websites and Facebook pages are all great sources of information. Okay, very good. This is Lisa Marshall, the director of the Taney County Health Department. Thanks for being here and expanding on the coronavirus and the preventative measures mm -hmm. that the county is taking. We will be right back, and of course, we will put all that information that she talked about on this story on our website, OzarksFirst.com. We'll be right back.